This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Today's episode is featuring Jesse Norris, who recently won. Uh, this is actually him coming out to Super Training before Raw Nationals, but he went out there and he kicked a lot of ass. And uh, you're gonna see him squat 725 pounds for double at the end of this video. This video is brought to you by HowMuchYourBench.net and steroids. Yes, indeed. Jesse Norris is on all the steroids, as you can see here. Look how easy he pressed that weight. It's only 225, but he moves it quite fast. It's no, a little suspect. That, that cannot be done without compression cuffs and without juice and without a super training. He's got trainer. compression pants on. I believe that's illegal. Are they, yeah. Well, I didn't check those underwear. Well, I'm uh, checking them right now. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's got the tattoos on. I mean, that's cheating as well. Yep. He has way more veins than me, and he has really nice pecs. So, clearly, he outbenches me, and he's on shit. He does have pecs, you know. He's got pecs for days. I've, he, nev I've never seen pecs on that size frame besides our boy Pitbull. I wonder if he uh, I wonder if he grew up with, like, a pec deck, you know, just, like, in his living room or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he uses, like, a uh, dick pump, but he uses a pec pump. Hmm. Oh, oh, to it, just expand them. You're talking about a penis pump, I believe. Oh, it can't be a dick pump? <laughs> I, I don't think they call it that. So a penis pump for your pecs would be a pec pump, um, a pec volumizer, and I believe he uses that. Mm. I think that's cheating. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's doing some creatine. Oh, that hopefully creatine he doesn't get rage. creatine rage. Yeah. He'll really rage out on us. This, this kid is a, a true freak, 198-pound lifter. Um, I think his best. Oh, slow-mo. <laughs> Look at them quads. Wow. A little separation. Zowie. Who edited this thing? And who is filming, <laughs> too, by the way. Getting a lot of good shots from uh, the nether regions down there. Uh, Jesse Norris uh, lives up in Idaho. He works for bodybuilding.com. And um, he's just a mutant. Kid has squatted uh, 750 pounds before in uh, just a pair of knee sleeves. He benches... Uh, a little over 400 pounds, maybe like 420 or so, or 440, somewhere in that range. And then he also has deadlifted, successfully deadlifted to 825 pounds. So the rumors circulating around him about steroids are just always there. People are talking about it all the time. But he does compete in a tested federation. Um, he competes under the most strict conditions that there are. And so if, uh, if he's... Uh, I don't know what the advantage of lying about it would really be in, in uh, powerlifting. I know that like in football and baseball and stuff, there's a lot of monetary gain that you can have from, uh, you know, just pretending, pretending that nothing's going on. But in powerlifting, I don't really know what the gain would be. I think Louis Simmons said it a couple times. Mark talks about it a lot. Uh, if you're the strongest guy in your gym and you deadlift uh, 600 pounds, you think that's the, t the top and your uh, progress is going to stall. Um, talking to Jesse, he kind of talked about like he never saw a ceiling and he never knew uh, what was or was not capable because he didn't pay that much attention to powerlifting as a whole. So all he did was work his tail off since he was whatever, age 13. So for him to pull 800, he didn't feel or see or know that that was some crazy number. Yeah, no one's ever told him that you can't deadlift 700 pounds for six or eight reps. If you tell he just yourself, went and tried it and did it, was able to do it over a long period of time. There's so much information on the internet, and people uh, think they know what's capable of a natural athlete or their genetics. People talk about genetic potential all the time and all this bullshit. So if you're already limiting yourself every day, you wake up saying. Oh, with my genetic potential, I could probably only pull 675. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You're only going to pull 675. He also doesn't really train with anybody else. Um, he does have training partners here and there, but he's not really paying attention to what other people are doing. He's paying attention to himself and where he can push himself to. Um, as I mentioned earlier, he's con con 
getting ready for uh, Raw Nationals in this video here. And uh, he was pretty disappointed with his uh, performance, even though he destroyed everybody by like 150 plus pounds. Um, he even uh, outlifted the next weight class up, I believe. You know, so he, he's a freaking savage, but he expects a lot from himself. He's not too concerned with what other people are lifting. He's trying to push himself to the limits. And he does train really hard. You know, we trained with him maybe three or four days. Uh, he trains his tail off. Uh, he eats well. Um, and there's not much to it other than that. You know, he's been doing it for years and years and years. Uh, getting to interview him a couple times and hang out with him, I was, uh, uh, a fact I did not know is that he had already competed in IPF Worlds. You know, that's something that maybe people don't know, uh, that he's been at a high level and trained for a very long time. You know, people don't yell at Mark about cheating and this and that because he benches 500, 550, 575, 600, 650, maybe 700 pounds one day. But uh, because people know your story. People know that you've been uh, powerlifting for whatever, 20 years. Yeah. People don't know that about Jesse. He's already, he's only 22, but he's already been after it about eight years. Yeah, he's won like IPF Junior Worlds or something like that at one point. Right. He competed in powerlifting gear for a while. Uh, Look at that spotter. It. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting. That guy's arms are huge. That is gross. I hope we throw that barbell away now. I hope we throw that guy out of the gym. Permanently. What's he doing? Who let him behind me? Look at him with that free cap. Why, does he, have free a weird, why does he have a weird smile every time I drop my booty free like that? Free t-shirt. Yeah. Those are free shorts. Those are from Reebok. He's cheap. Oh, my God. He's cheap. He's got Socks sandals. and sandals. <laughs> Socks and sandals. What He's is this, a fucking it. locker room? Ladies and gentlemen, I, I hate to even say his name, but that is Fat Dan, a.k.a. Bob Evans. With the uh, back spot there, just perving on silent mic. Yeah, it's 350 pounds. I think I'm okay, buddy. Get the hell <laughs> from behind me. Yeah, he likes to uh, he likes to creep. Yeah, look at that forehead vein. You notice some of the uh, different form we got going on here. My form is probably the worst out of the three, even though I've been lifting the longest. I just struggle so much to get my arms on the damn bar uh, that I have to have my arms really wide. So people ask about that a lot, why my arms are out. It's just because it hurts my shoulders and my elbows, so I just stick my arms out and I still try to get some squats. Look at that back. Something kind of uh, rare about Jesse's form too. Uh, I think he's successfully squatted 750 pounds in knee sleeves weighing 198 or 200 pounds. Uh, he puts the bar crazy low on his back. He does have a big back, but he keeps his torso pretty dang upright. Yeah. Uh, where most people, uh, you know, the prime example is always Lane Norton, uh, is a kind of very typical, uh, stereotypical low bar squatter where his torso does lean forward quite a bit uh, on his descent. He's got the bar really, really wedged in, and that's why he's got the uh, close hand placement like that. Um, that with, the, uh, with your hands in real close, you'll see some female lifters do that from time to time. It automatically helps to create some back tightness. And you can see here as he just drills, what is that, 675, 685, yep. something like that, depending on what that bar weighs. You know, he just does that with ease. One thing that was really interesting about him, there's Marcus going. Marcus making a little cameo. Marcus kind of gets the bar low. He goes a little bit wider stance squat. Got some knee wraps on right there. You can see the knee wraps giving a little bit of a push out of the bottom. But one thing that uh, with uh, Jesse Norris that, that I found to be different was that he pushes the amount of reps that he does. Uh, he really like kind of forces the amount of reps that he does all the way to the point where he'll do, um, not, you're not going to see it too much in this video because he's uh, prepping for meat, but um, he'll do like 585, he'll do 500 for 10 and 585 for 8 and 625 for 5 and just all these things that you would think would actually just uh, fatigue you too much for your top sets but he just doesn't give a shit. He's uh, built up an accumulation for that and he's able to still perform really well um, lifting in that fashion. Even though he's only uh, maybe 10 days or two weeks out from this meet, I think he was trying to hit, you know, hit his heaviest squats of the cycle. Uh, Three days. 725 right here. Yeah, for a double. Three days before this, he was doing sets of six to ten with a fat bar deficit deadlift. So it's not like he uh, totally calms down either. Jesus. You can see the knee, knees caving in a little bit at the bottom. And finally, with 725 pounds, this uh, 21 or 22 year old kid is finally showing some signs of, uh, of uh, his form faltering just a tiny bit. But just an unbelievable athlete. Fucking awesome to have him down here from Idaho. And uh, it was really cool to, to, you know, be around athletes like that. Yeah, that's strong. And he's smart. You know, maybe he could have squeezed out another rep or two, but, you know, he's already experienced at a young age. Oh, peck popping. Whoa. Is that The Rock? Is that Dewey? <laughs> Got the big, big lats, big pecs, hitting up that peck deck. Strength is never a weakness, and that is it from Super Training Gym. Later. Later. Bitch. Bitch. Bitch.